Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at manually clocking cards, uh, GPU mining graphics cards, uh, specifically the MSI 3060 Ti. This is a card I've had issues with in my mining rigs, and I just um, updated all my mining rigs back to NiceHash QuickMiner, which is the update I just did in my last video. The latest update to the QuickMiner update um, and now and allows you to get a hundred percent hash rate out of your LHR cards. So this was super nice. Generally, you just install it and your cards get full hash rate. You can see here on the screen, this is in my nice hash view. Um, the first card and the last two cards are gigabyte cards. They're working pretty well out of the box, getting around 58, 59 mega hash. Uh, this one's a little lower right now for some reason. But these cards right here, these are these MSI uh, Ventress 2X or X2, whatever they're called, cards. And I've always had issues with them. So any, if I try to apply any of Nice Hash's uh, optimizations, even the light one, the card crashes. Actually, this first one takes it okay, which is kind of interesting. Um, but the other two cause the mining rig to crash immediately. So... Um, I'm actually going to, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and maybe apply, how do I want to do that? Um, actually I'm going to leave it alone f for now, just in case it causes any issues. I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the mining rig itself, and then we'll come back here and look at a few things. So bear with me, we're just going to be walking through this, showing you how to change your clocks when you're using nice hash quick miner. I like quick miner because if you can use these optimizations, it just makes it simpler. Uh, it's working really well in my other rig. So let me jump into the mining rig itself here. So I have the OC tune opened up. How you get into that is when you have nice hash installed, just right click on that and click on OC tune. That's going to open up this web browser here and it's going to give you the details of um, all your cards. Super, uh, super nice if you didn't know this existed. Uh, what's also nice, it shows you the, the vendor of the card here. So I can very clearly see there's my gigabyte cards, here's my three MSI cards. So I've got the three MSI cards checked here. And I'm following a guide on NiceHash. Um, I'll make sure I put this in the description on how to use OC Tune so you can reference this as well. Um, but obviously without any settings, um, these three cards don't perform very well. Um, they get very hot and the hash rate is, is you know, kind of so-so. So, um, following th through uh, setting these up manually, you can see they're actually getting pretty warm, even with some of the settings I've worked on. Um, but down here, you can basically change your overclock settings. Uh, you can do it just like you would with like MSI Afterburner right here uh, on the right. And, sorry, you can't see that. <laughs> you can do just like you would there on the right. Um, changing the core clock, delta, memory clock, and power limits. I was playing around with that, and um, I was getting the, the heat down and the power usage down, but my hash rate was junk. <laughs> so, um, reading through the article, they really recommended you doing the alternative method over here on the right-hand side for 30 series cards. This is much more similar to how they are applying their own recommendations, um, basically setting a core limit and then uh, setting the the speed of the memory itself over here. Now, um, power limit is automatic. Core clock determines power limit, right? So right now, because the core clock is higher, we have the higher power limit. Uh, you can see here, the um, I just set it to the same core limit that the, um, the other cards are, are on, the 1350. And... Um, you know, so our voltage is kind of similar here. They're, these are a little higher, but you can see obviously they're getting way too hot for that. And it may just be kind of a cooling issue too, because this one right here in the middle is fine. Maybe these have bad thermal paste that needs reapplied. I don't know. These, these MSI cards drive me crazy. So <laughs> um, this particular one, the 2X Ventress, I did another video about it. Anyways, to make changes to these three cards, you just check the boxes next to them here. So I have these three checked. And so I can scroll down here. And so the here's the memory clock. And basically what they tell you to do is, you know, set it to a reasonable core clock, which I just set it to the ones of the other cards. And then you add 25 to the memory. 
clock, the absolute memory clock, and you click selected. And you'll see over here on the right, it just set those new clock values. And then you can scroll back up. You can see it's taken it. And then basically let it cycle a little bit to make sure you're not getting any crashes or any drops um, or things like that. And then you can look down here <clears throat> um, in the, um, what do they call these? The speed, keep an eye on the speed, the real, the, the real power and the effect, effectiveness. So you can kind of monitor here so I can see they're pulling pretty high power usage. There's the, um, the mining speed and then the efficiency. So they're not nearly as efficient. So we need to keep playing with those numbers. Uh, what they tell you to do <clears throat> is basically increase this memory clock until it starts crashing. And then once you've increased the memory clock, then uh, start reducing, uh, start with a higher, um, I guess at some point you're going to want to reduce the, um, the core clock to get the power usage down. Since this, these things seem to be getting way too hot. Now they also tell you to keep, keep a look at the, um, after each reduction of the core clock limit, yeah, so you do make reduction of the core clock limit. Pay attention to the values right here. Min KT, average KT, UMED KT, with this last one being the um, most important. Unfortunately, they don't tell me what KT stands for. I'm sure I should know, but they don't define it in the article, so I don't know. <laughs> um, lower the better. So obviously, I'm guessing you know we wanting to get that value closer to these other cards. So, all right, so here's what I'm going to actually do here, since I do have one of these cards that is working fine with the optimization, at least the last I tried. I'm actually going to go in here and switch this one off of manual and switch this over to light. And then jump back into our rig. Hope this doesn't crash everything because it's so annoying to walk out and have to change everything. Um, Okay, so now what happens, and I think this is why I think this is interesting, as I can actually see what Nice Hash's recommendation for light optimization of that card is. Um, so that's where I can see the memory, the core, um, all that, all those settings. And I can see that that is now at 57 mega hash, which is great. Um, we're yeah, right here 57 the efficiency's not quite as good as the other ones for sure you can see that but it basically gives you all your metrics here there's my memory delta power limit uh core clock all those settings so you can again if i change these other two cards these other two msi cards to that it, it crashes within like 10 seconds but at least that gives me an idea of that's an optimized setting from nice hash and honestly these cards are pretty close i think just based upon having worked with these cards a lot before what these two other msi cards cannot handle 7600 clock speed of the memory they just can't do it bad memory whatever so i believe that's the issue is that even under the light optimization they crash with that. So basically what I need to do is just slowly move up each one of these cards and I probably should do them individually, um, which to do it individually, you can just check the box next to the one that you want to modify and then click selected um, on these settings, which will just adjust that one card. Or up here, you can actually pick the single card you want to adjust and then you click on single. Be careful not to click on all or you'll reset all these settings. So that's what I'm gonna be doing over you know, whenever I get time here is I'm just going to have to slowly bump up the the memory on these until I'm getting that higher hash rate, um, you know, because I'd like to be getting, you know, as close to 60 as possible on these MSI cards. Now, the other issue here is, of course, the heat. Even with that light optimization, obviously these cards are burning up um, way too hot. So it may be they need better cooling. That's going to be fun to, to try to figure out. Um, or obviously, 
you know, you can just lower down the core clock some more, which I may try to do. And here, I can actually do that. Um, uh, let's see, what do I have? <clears throat> These two are set to 1350. That's set to 1320. I know this was running much lower before. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just bring it down to 1300. And I need to do that on these two and on the selected I've adjusted core clock to 12 9 and yeah I mean so just play around with it I mean you could adjust one card at a time that way you kind of get an idea for how um, they perform obviously you know the way to get this these two cards performing better is going to be to get the memory delta increased. So ultimately what I'm going to be doing is increasing it by 25 until I get as close to, you know, these other cards as I can. It's just going to be a painful process of, you know, if I go too far, Hope see, there we go. We, we had a share rejected. Hmm. Fun, fun. So, I'm going to put the, oh, I'll let it run a little longer, see if I get any more of those. But we're running at 54 mega hash, which let me tell you is a lot better than the 30 that they were running at before. So I definitely, definitely is worth upgrading to the 100% LH, LHR unlock. Um, I think you can get it in the regular nice hash miner now as well. I just, as soon as I heard that Quick Miner had the support for it, I jumped right back to Quick Miner because I like out of the box, it just works better. You get more of the stats in the nice hash interface. And for manual overclocking, you can use OC Tune and do it all through here. Um, you just can't mine the other coins, but right now Ethereum is still the most profitable. Um, so this is going to be the way I'm going to be doing it. Continue to use OC Tune here. And. Um, I'll be doing more videos on this if I get these cards more optimized. Um, I'll do more videos on OC Tune, uh, Nice Hash Quick Miner, things like that. So if this video was helpful, be sure to give it a like. helps me out. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get my updated videos as I come and do more videos on um, this mining rig and our, my other mining rigs as well. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.